Rui Lopez opening, Berlin, El Hermit, Berlin Wall Defense, 9.NC3H6. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. D4 opens up the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. And d6 retreats the knight to a central square where it attacks the bishop on b5. Bx c6 captures the knight and forces black to double the c pawns. Dx c6 captures the bishop, opens up the d file and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Dx e5 captures the e5 pawn attacks the knight on d6 and controls the f6 square. nf5 moves the knight to an active square where it controls d4. qx d8 plus trades queens and stops black from castling. kx d8 recaptures the queen. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. h6 controls the g5 square, preventing any bg5 plus or ng5 ideas from white. Games Master It is the final book action. This wastes a chance to build a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to strike a bishop. It is incorrect. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a bishop. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to stomp on a bishop. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. A wise decision. It is quite good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. It's all right. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. By posing a threat to a bishop and compelling it to flee, this gains a tempo. That's good. This leaves a bishop without defenders. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to reveal an attack on a rook. It is a blunder. That bishop was open for business. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This same piece may have been captured in a better method, which would have produced a more noticeable material difference. It falls flat. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a vulnerable knight. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. 
This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is the wrong piece to capture with and leads to a loss of material compared with the correct choice. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is a miss. This passes up the chance to capture an open file with a rook. It falls flat. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. This protects a weak piece by trapping one of its assailants. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. By elevating it to the 7th rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. That's good. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. This might indicate that a rook was attacked. That's good. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a rook. It is good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to win a pawn. This allows the opponent to kick a rook. It is a miss. That's a decent move. That's good. This wastes a chance to gain a pawn. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. This threatens to kick a rook. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is a great move. This enables the adversary to kick a rook. It is incorrect. This strikes a rival rook. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This passes up the chance of advance a passed pawn through promotion. It is incorrect. This prevents the adversary from moving a passed pawn toward promotion. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. This disregards a superior strategy for dodging the enemy rook's check. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is incorrect. The rook is now in a safe position. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. 